All right, man, dude, I am still on hold, but I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me, coming back for the second video of the series. Dude, I'm still on hold, look at this. Look, Samsung, you gotta do better. Anyways, I've disconnected the speaker because you know I don't want it to be that loud, but we still gotta do part two of this series. This is where we take this joint right here. This is brand new on the market. It's the, uh, the Bose Soundlink Flex Generation 2. We just compared it to the JBO Charge 5. I told you how it thrashed it, okay? It wasn't a complete thrashing. It's just It just edges it out. But that was video one. Go back and watch it if you just now getting here, bro. You need to catch up on the season. Anyways, where you want to go next? We still have the JBL Flip 6 to do. We have the Soundcore Motion 300. And then we have the Sony Altfield 1. In fact, oh, no, let's not do this one yet. Uh, let's do Soundcore Motion 300 since it is the same form factor. You see that right there? It is a very, very strikingly similar form factor. They both have the little tail, okay? Uh, Soundcore edges uh, the Bose speaker out with the tail. Well, I call it a tail. The lanyard that opens up, that way you can kind of hook it on things, whereas the Bose one doesn't come off, nor can you uh, open it up. So you just need to put a carabiner on it or something like that. But as far as having a mic, they both have microphones. Uh, both of them are really good at taking calls, which is great because that's that's a huge lifestyle factor that I think a lot of companies leave out thinking we don't need it or want it, but I like to have it, obviously, because I'm sitting here on hold, man. Anyways, uh, uh, Soundcore tends to do something with their sound signature. They have a Soundcore sound signature uh, in their app, which comes by default with all the speakers or yeah, all the stuff that they have actually. It's their default sound. And that's how they want you to listen to the sound. Uh, so I usually keep it on that when I test my speakers. And then I always test the other speakers, how they come as well, stripped right out of the box. So they're usually coming flat because Bose and Sony and JBL all have their own sound signature. And when you get that EQ, it comes flat because that's how they intended it to sound. They give you the EQ so you can change it up as much as you want to, but Soundcore defaults theirs to the Soundcore signature. So, and sometimes the bass up is on as well. And I tried this speaker with bass up on and off against the Soundflex, or I keep calling it the Soundflex, <laughs> the Soundlink Flex 2. And I gotta say, this is where the thrashing occurs. Um, so as similar as these speakers are in specs and size and everything else, this, it, it, the, if when you listen to the Soundcore Motion 300 alone, it sounds like a great speaker and you would not be disappointed in what it's giving you. It's not until something like this shows up to where you're like, man, oh, dude, this, this elevator music is killing me. <laughs> dude, I wish they would just pick up. Anyways, it's not until you listen to something like this where you realize the mids sound a little bit odd in here and then you need to go in and EQ um, this speaker to get what you need out of it. This one right out of the box, in my opinion, the perfect sound. Everything is laid down smooth. Like in my first video, how I talked about a layer cake, the perfect amount of cake, and then you got a layer of icing, then you got another layer of cake, and then you got that layer of icing and you get the corner piece. This right here is that perfect piece of cake. And then you get down in there with the fork. The mids, I think, the bass is the most impressive with this speaker. This thing thumps above its weight class. Like sometimes when I step away from it, I'm like, I cannot believe that speaker is as small as it is because the bass is thumping so hard. But the co-star of the show would have to be the mids and how how filling they are with the uh, when they when they bridge the gap between the highs and the bass. So I have to give like a huge edge to the uh, Bose Sound Link. Flex, that's what it's called, Flex too. <laughs> I keep messing up that name. Anyways, ooh, did they pick up? Oh, no, not yet. Anyways, this speaker is awesome, man. And as you go through this series of videos, cause I'm only doing a short series of videos where I do it real quick, you're gonna see how much I like this speaker. I'm not gonna reveal like, you know, which one is the king right now, but you're kind of gonna see a vibe, okay? I don't know if I just gave it away, but dude, this thing is killing it. Bose absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one, but that's my personal assessment. I believe that this one kind of puts a nice little spanking on the Soundcore Motion 300, which is one of my favorite speakers, by the way. All of these, I have absolutely loved all these speakers I'm comparing it to, so this is a tough fight. Either way, this one, in my opinion, wins on sound quality. It has the mic, 
has a long battery life. It's beautiful and subdued. You can put it anywhere and it's not gonna just stand out and scream, hey, look at me, I'm a speaker. I absolutely love this thing. Good job, Bose. But I need you to make your own decisions. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some sound samples. So make sure y'all stop by for the next video and I'll see you when I see you.